All right, so this is a video review of the uh, Curtis Snow Pro Snow Plow uh, Snow Pro 3000, I believe it's called. Um, I got this mm, Tuesday. It's Thursday right now. Uh, I got this mainly because there was nobody to plow my dad's driveway, and two, uh, well, I've always wanted to plow snow. It sounds weird, but it's true as you can see I have it on my Dirty Max uh, Chevy three quarter ton Dirty, Dirty Max engine Mo most people won't get that but okay uh, if, you, if you search on YouTube there's only <laughs> one video uh, it's not even a review but there's one video about the Curtis snowplow why is that? Well, maybe because nobody really likes them and it's pe they're pieces of shit. One of the only reasons why I have this was that it was... I could get it cheap, I guess. <laughs> uh, it was... It is cheaper than a Boss V-Plow blade, not installed. I, I paid, I think it was $4,200 for the whole system. It includes a set of controls and the blade and the, all that stuff. Now, one of the reasons why I believe, I think it's a piece of shit, if you, John, if you come over here. Oh, I'll come over here. If you look right down here, which you probably can't see, me, Zach, me, Zach, John, and John's dad were trying to uh, put this back on yesterday because I took it off to see if I could get it back on by myself. Because it, the, this thing has a uh, hitch and run system where it just hitches and you plug in, plug in the controls over there and the grounding. You can't see it; it's kind of. There's the cord. Oh yeah, but uh, I tried doing that, and I guess I wasn't on a level enough enough level of the surface, and uh, took six hours to get back on. Uh, so you got you got these things which you push in and you uh, turn turn here to unlock and you can take this and put it down as long as you have the jack down that is but uh, yeah when I got this I got this on Tuesday and uh, they didn't have the wiring for or the uh, adapter for the headlights headlights so I had to go back on Wednesday and have them install the adapter for the headlights <coughs> One thing I don't like about them. <coughs> Sorry. You cough I'm too sick. much. Oh, boo -hoo. I'm sick. Shut up. One thing I don't like about the the adapter kit for this is that um, basically every time you every time at night if you shut the truck off, you have to uh, move the move the blade a little bit so that you can uh, use the headlights. Now, if you would follow me into the vehicle. These are the controls, as you can see, and it's got a fail-safe system so that if the vehicle's off, it won't do anything. But it's on now. Push up, down, left, right. Use the float, float thing for when you're taking it off. But since I'm not taking it off, I don't really need it. <laughs> um, if you're ever going to get a snowplow on any vehicle... Make sure you have a little bit of counterweight in your bed. Mm -hmm. There's, a, there's, I'd say seven and a half bags of. It's not ice, but it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, some it has liquid magnesium in it. That's all I can tell you. But. Uh, it's environmentally friendly. It's fast acting. Uh, it, it it's uh, that? something with oh enhanced with con cor cor corrosion inhibitor. Uh, it's called Road Runner. As you can tell from the picture. Well, yes. I got this at a local Lowe's uh, shop for about nine eighty seven a bag. I paid just uh, just under eighty dollars 
for all this. So, uh, it's going to be snowing sometime soon, and it's going to be uh, accumulating. So, I'm going to get out and uh, do a little snow plow, plowing some snow to show you how good it, good it works. Which is a lie. I almost sued Curtis because of that one little incident. It took three people. What was it? Two or three hours? About Try two to, to three hours just in order to fix. To move that? This. Where John he Johnny here was uh, sitting on the plow like, oh, like this, pushing on it. While Ryan here was pulling, Zach was helping me by keeping me on the plow. And we somehow managed to bend that bar. The only reason why it was bent is because this is made out of cheap steel. The blade is not. That is a hollow piece of steel. Here, look at this. And look how easily this comes off. That is pathetic. All right, look at this. Come down here. As you can see, it's very hollow. And if I had my... There's a hole. Oh, if I had my stick, I would show you that it's very bendable. So, any last words for our viewers, Ryan? If you're thinking about getting a snow plow, uh, I don't. I'm not saying you shouldn't look into getting a Curtis, but I'm just saying you probably shouldn't uh, go with one. Either you, there's great, great plows, great reviews on Boss uh, Western. Uh, if you do get a boss, I'd probably stick with the V plow. It's a little bit, uh, it costs a little bit more, but you can do, you can do things without, you can do things with the V plow that you can't do with this, which is shovel the snow and a V. You can actually pivot both uh, wings so you can make a, a V like this and you push the snow instead of like this just which doing that uh, kind of leaves little pieces of snow off here and you have to go back through it well that's just about it for this Curtis snow plow Snow Pro Snow Plow 3000. Uh, do your research before you get one. I didn't, and I paid dearly. All right, till next time. See you later, folks.